Uh, this is the uh, the mural that was painted by the class of 1978 that depicts the uh, the athletic teams and athletic piece of Bridgeton Academy. Uh, it was spearheaded by Phoebe Levine, who was the director of the art program at that time. And what she wanted to do was just get kids involved uh, to basically show uh, them, uh, our kids, what, what our athletics are all about and talk a little bit about what's going on at the school. And uh, the mural depicts a whole bunch of stuff. It, uh, it starts out kind of, I think, in my mind, it always starts out on this side of the, uh, of the of the wall basically talking about the four seasons of the Bridgeton area and at that time you know we had a very big and strong outing club program which was part of the athletic piece in a sense. Uh, you in uh, Warren Euchre and, and Phil Gopal always consider themselves outing club coaches so to speak but this piece talks about what the outing club was all about and uh, you know it's got the canoe, snowshoes, the mountains, guys hiking, right? a little bit of wildlife kicking around here. But this canoe is a very special canoe here because uh, it was a canoe that Phil Gopal had had uh, in, his, in his collection of canoes for a long time and painted it up with that particular uh, dragon face on it with uh, you know a little bit of a, a sinister snarl going to it but that was the the official outing club transport <laughs> canoe that took guys out to the cabin on uh, Stearns Pond. Uh, class of 70, 78 uh, is, is, are the guys that made this mural. Um, Tom Smith, uh, Tom Merrill, Stevie Smith, Rudy Yearwood, Chris Sano, and Phil Chin are the guys in the yearbook picture that were, were actually painting this. Uh, this part is the ski team, uh, which was officially started in 1978 by moi and Bill Burse. Uh, we had Nordic racing at that time and our Alpine, uh, Alpine skiing as well. And you know the rest of this kind of depicts what other sports we had going on at the academy at that time. Uh, we got lacrosse, cross country, golf, hockey, uh, soccer, basketball, tennis, football, and baseball over there. Now there's some interesting things that are connected with this particular mural because of the people that painted it and how uh, the athletics evolved and what was going on at that time. Uh, these two guys happened to be uh, runners for me uh, back in the 1978 cross country season. and. Uh, they were two of the best runners I ever coached. What a, what a way to start off. These guys really showed me what cross-country running was all about. But this guy with the reddish type here is supposed to be Ronnie Christ, who was uh, a guy from Massachusetts. And uh, this guy here is supposed to be Pete Gamble, who's from Concord, uh, New Hampshire, went on to the Naval Academy. Ronnie was also a heck of a basketball player and went down to play at uh, Nassau College at that time, at that time as well. Uh, these weren't our colors. And hockey never were, as far as I could remember, but they look good on the mural, so that's pretty cool. Uh, our soccer player here, the thing at that time was we had a very large contingent of Bermudians that were here, and uh, there were a couple of guys on the, uh, the the mural painting squad that were Bermudians, and uh, there were a number of guys on uh, Bill Burse's soccer team who hailed from Bermuda. Uh, this guy right here is supposed to be John Burke from. Uh, Class of 1978, big, tall, curly-headed guy, number 42, uh, uh, on the basketball court. So uh, there's some history back to this uh, to this mural right here. But this was posted uh, and, and put up in the library uh, by Phoebe Levine again, who was the art director, and it was on the side of the, the library that would be facing uh, into the village of North Bridgeton. Uh, this was painted in 1978 as a result of one of her art projects that uh, she initiated at that time. It went over so well, the next year uh, they painted another one, which is around the corner. This is mural phase two. This is our uh, other part of the act, uh, the academy that, that Phoebe wanted to depict, and this is our academic mural. And like to me, it always makes sense to start at this end over here, because what you got is Mr. Bridgeton Academy, circa 1970, noticed to do 
okay? Walking on to the academy campus and uh, coming into North Bridgeton. Obviously, he's, uh, he's got his briefcase with him. He's written notebooks. He's ready to rock and roll. Here's our chapel tower, okay? The post office, North Bridgeton, which at this, this time was uh, located in the, the Dr. Judy Shedd house, which used to be uh, 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 the Ryerson's home. Uh, Herschel Ryerson and his family ran the post office. Uh, it's now moved across the street, but it was in that white building uh, on the other side of the street, but that's good old 44057. So what do we offer here in beautiful downtown North Bridgeton for academics? We got some art, okay, and we got some singing, okay, which is a holdover from the Glee Club of the Goldsmith era, but that was still going on at that point. Uh, again, art and music was, was, in, was there. And then we're getting into our academic subjects. Uh, this, this picture right here depicts longtime uh, outing club director Warren Euchre and one of his, one of his, his buddies uh, in a chess club. Euchre was a big chess guy and uh, they used to play a lot of chess when the kids would go up to the cabin which is located on Stearns Pond. But uh, you know, every, every Wednesday or Friday afternoon, sometimes you could get together or join the, uh, con you know, convene, I should say, the, the, the chess club and get guys would get together and play chess. And uh, it was a great, uh, great way for the guys to get to know you, who was one of the all-time great characters with character at Bridgeton Academy. And then we go into our, our math and science area. We got a little calculus going on. We got some chem uh, going on, which at this time, uh, our chem lab was in the second floor of the administration building here uh, up on campus, again, taught by Bill Burris at this, at this time, uh, back in the 19, late 1970s. But this is, uh, uh, Don Johnson actually was teaching chemistry then too. Uh, then we get into our academic tower here and, and basically each one of these books depicts a subject that was taught at that time. Um, you know we've got art, art history down the bottom, calculus, chemistry, algebra, anatomy and physiology which for many 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 years was taught by Doug Avery. Physics at this time uh, was taught by Bill Burris. English again by Dean Whitney uh, and uh, Freeman Whitney and Phil Dopel and Randall Dreesen. Our music, History of England, uh, was another specific history course that was caught, taught by Doug Avery. And uh, Glory and Dream was Bob Walker's uh, baby. Uh, our headmaster, Robert Walker, at the time, also took, uh, took a class and taught uh, a history class called Glory and Dream. Economics, geometry. Uh, there's my oceanography course, which I inherited from a guy by the name of David Quinby who taught it prior to me coming here, and then I believe that was also taught before Quimby by uh, Andy Speed. But then we have our advanced math. We also have always taught how to do stuff, like we had our study guide and our reading, our reading course. And this kind of depicts guys working at study hall, which is kind of the backbone of what we do here. Right? Study hall is still a part of uh, everything that goes on here from 7.30 to 9.30, Sunday through Thursday. And here's our guys in the library, okay, uh, which was a, a big part of this new academic building called Hamlin. At that time in 1977, it was a brand new facility, really gorgeous facility for the time. And here's our graduates. I always like this guy looking down his diploma. I always thought he's kind of like looking to the future. He's got tunnel vision, but he's looking to the future, so that's good. And uh, so, guy walks in over here at the front side of the mural, coming up to do his work at Bridgeton Academy. Gets initiated into the academic, cultural, social environment. Does some work. Has some recreation, playing, playing ping pong down at the school store. But basically, he walks out a graduate. So that's the academic mural again from Phoebe Levine and her, her art uh, art crew that was put together in 1979. This was the class of 79 that did this one.